concentrating solar power can fill in the gaps where other renewable energy sources might not produce energy when we actually need it. Concentrating solar power uses emitters to focus and concentrate sunlight onto a target called the receiver, from where a, a heat transfer fluid carries the intense thermal energy to a power block to generate electricity. We're generating heat first and foremost. The benefit of that is that with that heat, you can store that for use at night or on cloudy days. By being able to dispatch the electricity when you need it, and this can actually allow for greater penetration of renewables to displace conventional fossil fuel sources. Another unique aspect of these projects is that the supply chain for a CSP plant is inherently domestic. So in terms of technological development, the United States is ahead of the other countries in the world in terms of creating new technologies, aggressively pursuing cost reduction goals, and improving the efficiency of systems. The recent developments of these concentrating solar power plants is moving us forward towards the sunshot goal of reaching six cents per kilowatt hour in 2020. Many of the previous power plants using concentrating solar power have been in the tens of megawatt range. We're now up in the hundreds of megawatts. So we're really kicking it up a notch, taking it to the next level, and hopefully we'll be able to get over the, this tipping point for deployment of concentrating solar power. So there's a tremendous potential that exists every day to tap into it. There is a bright future for concentrating solar power as well as other renewables, and I think they can be all complementary to each other.